hey guys how you all doing welcome back again it's Fida here guys do you know that a whole lot is happening in the house but on a lighter note um cc cooked again oh hey can you see cross like cross so my mercy alex alex herself was even praising cc of how good and tasty and delicious her food is you know alex said that even when that she has been eating sissy's food even when they were fighting that she cannot resist the food even though they are fighting when they were fighting actually anyway guys moving back to the house and into the diary room you could see that soma's diary section if you listen to him it will really melt your heart so my recall that many people outside don't even know him as a former big brother niger housemate that it was so painful the struggle was real so my said that he has been struggling ever since to make ends meet as an entertainer that he almost gave up hope on his dream and guess what guys i'm more grateful and thankful that soma is saying this like now that he is not up for eviction because had it been soma is up for eviction and soma is giving this down line of how he has been struggling and how life has been for him ever last he was on the show or more people will say that he's gathering for pity so my is grateful for angel most especially how he used to tell him when he's always unsure and suffering from you know weeks eviction you know that week one week two and angel will just be there and be asking him don't you believe in your socks believe in yourself believe in your source and now he said he's the one telling angel that because because, you know, Angel has also been anxious when she is up and he has to tell him, don't you believe in your source? And uh, the most important thing is that Soma is grateful that Angel is there. And that is why people are really contemplating. Nobu Igwe um, tweeted, he's a popular somebody, he's a celebrity. He said that there is a housemate that wants to ride on another housemate back to get to the finals without doing the work all in the name of sheep he did not call any name more. so they are contemplating is it because there are only two ships in the house is it um venita and um adekule or is it soma and adekule he actually said that this person wants sh um, shippers money gift and also want to use the ship to get to the finals guys please let's cruise and gist down the comment section who do you think that that sub is for who is riding on who to get to the finals among those people that are in a ship do you think adekule is using venita to get to the finals or venita is using adekule to get to the finals do you think soma is using angel to get to the finals or angel is using soma to get to the finals and i'm among those four people, who do you think that is targeting shippers money, shippers gifts, all the benefits that comes with shipping and from shippers? Let's just down the comment section. Oh my guys, so Soma said that he was even homeless. He, among the struggle that he passed through as a former BB Niger housemate, he was even homeless. His mom, his parents had to call him to come back to stay in their house in Porter Court, you know, because he was homeless. But guys, he said he he hustled his way to finally getting his whole own place and um, he now he's now in the island and he carried some people to live with him for free like this guy stayed up to eight weeks without telling us all these emotional stories all these struggle stories to gain um votes and all that he really tried because i know that if it were some people, it, they will start telling us their struggle story from introduction, you know, telling us their name. They also tell us how they struggled from week one or even day one, how they hugged granite under the sun and under the rain, how they, they, they go for weeks without eating, how all they, they had was just one, one third shirt and one, ah, but so much try shall. I'm just grateful that he said this at a point that um, he was not even up for possible eviction and he waited till now before he said it even though some people are still you know dragging him because there's nothing you will do that will please everybody they say oh he's now saying this all these sympathetic stories to so that in case he's up next week they will use this is um touching story to vote for him next week that everything is strategy or more people must complain you do up they will complain you do down they will complain just do you 
Honestly, guys, I pray that this season of All Star changes Soma's life for good. I hope he gets premium fans that will spoil him with goodies and gifts. I hope he gets good de- deals, you know, jobs, career, endorsements, and so on. Like Soma said, life has, you know, was tough late last year and early this year. I am just happy that um, um, Big Brother called him for a second chance. I don't know how Big Brother does this thing, but Big Brother just know which life to talk. He just know which housemate to bring to the show. I don't know, but it's just God that want to, you know, remember Soma because Omo, it's been a lot. Anyway, I'm talking about Soma. Perry feels bad for nominating Soma because Soma is Angel's boo and because him and Angel have a very strong um, friendship bond. They are very close. I think even Perry saying this, that's so um him and angel have a very strong friendship bond <laughs> god the production needs to do better because they need to show us more of this pere and angel bonding and friendship in the house because uh, it's not that more it's not profound enough that i will notice it the way he is seeing it like i'm not seeing the bonding and the friendship of pere and angel but for him to say it it means that we are not seeing that part okay anyway he is sorry that he nominated soma his friends boo and also he is sorry that he nominated uh, mercy Perez said that Mercy is a cool chick and he likes her a lot and she minds her business in the house but he nominated her because she hasn't stood up you know for a while so and that was why he nominated her in fact he said that anytime they come out and they watch that he nominated them that he is really sorry about that but it's a game and it need to be played anyway Perry need to constantly say that it is a game to remind people that it is a game because it seems like as people are very against him in the house for playing the game, that is how it is outside because people are really angry that Perry is competitive, Perry is plotting, conspiring. You know, Perry had to tune down his energy, his his all his strategy just to please people outside and inside. Still yet, it's not working because any slightest opportunity, people will be picking on him. People will be picking on him. And, you know, the height of it is Alex this evening saying that Perry don't even know her, his father. That Perry doesn't know his father. Like, that is the height of it. It's really bad for you to say, oh, he's a bastard. Not like you just called him a bastard, but you say that he doesn't know his father well she's us anyway guys um talking about alex alex has always said you know if not for brand if not for people's brand that she will say a lot of things about a lot of housemates that she's just keeping quiet not to spoil people's brand and all those things but this girl went to the in fact she has been saying it once once like occasionally every opportunity she gets but today's diary session she went on and all about how Perry is responsible for all the mess that they go through in the toilet that anytime that Perry uses the toilet she go and check and everywhere is messed up with shit and all those things very disgusting he pollutes every time and all that thing See, oh, to be honest, I know about this pollution of a thing because Neo, when they that oneness um merge that clothes that they used to serve their punishment for whispering Neo and Perry, while they were begging Biggie in the diary room, Neo actually told Biggie that while he needs to separate them as quick as possible is because Perry used to pollute all the time, <laughs> even in the sleep, and also there was a time that Perry and cross was in the kitchen cross was at i um, behind perry and uh, perry told cross i have released an ep and that was he has farted like i like occasionally i've seen that perry used to you know do that but for this toilet on that mrs um alice is saying eh, i find it weird that someone will use the toilet and you will go back to look at the person's shit like why do you do that i ha got why will you do that? Seriously, that anytime, she said, anytime Perry use the toilet, she go and check and everything is messed up. Why would you all normally go and check after he uses the toilet? <laughs> it's just a messed up house, guys. Please, let's just cast cruise, cruise under the comment section. Life is too short. Don't take it too seriously, okay, guys? Anyway, I'll be waiting for you to talk to you um, one-on-one under the comment section. Thank you and God bless you for watching. Love you, guys.